Today's word is adios. Chad from CKY got his band kicked off a pretty big tour for acting a fool. And today, we're gonna bust into this drama, but before we do, hey, hi, hello. My name is Dan Frampton, welcome to the channel. Hit like, press subscribe, and comment within the first three hours to be entered into Three Hour Gang, the most illustrious gang on YouTube. Okay, folks, let's do the whole content thing. So this drama is gonna take us all the way over to Instagram.com, where apparently we got Alien Ant Farm dropping what we love the most here on this channel, a statement. There have been so many statements in the rock and roll world this year. Some of them good, some of them bad, all of them pretty funny and entertaining if I'm being honest with you. And today we got this one and we're gonna crack into it real quick. But before I do, I just gotta say, when I was a young buck, that Alien Ant Farm song, which was just a cover of that Michael Jackson song, Smooth Criminal, was my biggest jam ever. I loved it. Other than that, I can't really name a single Alien Ant Farm song. And a little bit later on in my life, there was a CKY song, which everybody knows. Do -do 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 that one, you know? I like that song too. That is my history with these two bands, summed up in a nutshell. And apparently, these two bands were on tour together, but not so much anymore, because about three hours ago, we got this statement. What does it say? Let's see, shall we? Okay, diving in. Sadly, Chad from CKY hasn't figured out how to cohabitate with others after all these years. They will no longer be on the Alien Ant Farm tour through the rest of the UK shows after Chad punched me in the face earlier today. I've watched them treat multiple crew members and opening band members like trash through the Europe shows and cause general drama around our camp. Before the last Europe shows, I went to Chad and asked if he had any issues with anyone specifically and he said he wanted to have a meeting with the whole crew and bands to discuss what's going on. He upended the table in the dressing room and threw his phone and then cancelled their show. Today, we still had business things to square away, and I told his manager what a problem Chad was being, verbally as well as f***ing up the bus with all his messes every day for other people to clean up. Taking a break from the statement here real quick. Uh, these guys are adults, by the way. We're talking about adults talking about other adults. Okay, I just thought I would clear that up. Before I continue with this statement, I just want to say that today's video is brought to you by my other channels. Go over to Filthy Frampton right now for video game related content, if you like video games. If you're more into daily slop topic commentary, I got another channel for you called The Art of Slop. Now, this is where you go for all of the drama that goes on online. Internet drama is here, music drama is on the channel that you're on right now, which is the main channel, and then video game shenanigans is all over there on Filthy Frampton. Join the Frampton universe today. Okay, back to the video. Now let's continue. Well, he punched me in the face and pretty much ran away, like I imagine he'll do from all his future problems. I'm grateful for my sobriety and grateful that I didn't retaliate physically in any way whatsoever. I would love these shows to continue and apologize to the CKY fans for Chad's behavior. We have zero hard feelings for Jesse and Elvis in CKY and are gutted to see them go, but I will never knowingly put myself in volatile situations so this had to end. After suffering a C1 and C2 fusion from a bus crash years ago, I hope that everything is okay in that area. Shows will continue without CKY and we hope everyone still wants to come out and enjoy positive evening with us, including CKY fans. If you don't, we understand and refunds will be issued accordingly. Stay safe, everybody. And Chad, go to the gym. After that, find a therapist. And maybe in 25 years, we can shake hands. Until then, though, get help. Love, Dryden. How old is Chad from CKY? Chad from CKY is a 52-year-old man <laughs> running around punching members of Alien Ant Farm in the face, treating crew members and opening band members like total crap. What a disgrace to the rock and roll world. And just scooting over here to the Alien Ant Farm website really quick, just to see how many shows they're being cut out from over here. Holy smokes, look at all this stuff. Now I would like to say that it's just immature, that it's just kind of silly and stupid to go ahead and do this kind of stuff. 
but this is affecting people's lives and livelihood now at this point. From my understanding, CKY is more than just that one member, and apparently they have managers and a whole team and that kind of thing, and now they're cut out from this pretty big tour across Europe with Alien Ant Farm. And it's wild to me that this comes to us from the behavior of a 52 year old man. You think you could just talk to this guy and be like, yo, punching each other in the face is not really chill. Maybe throwing tables around isn't really the best way to conduct yourself, Mr. Guy. And maybe he could have been like, oh, you know what? You're right. I'm being kind of a douchebag right now. Maybe I stop doing that. Maybe I don't want to put your guys' livelihood on the risk right now. Let me just be an adult really quick and go out there and play some friggin' music. It's a dream job for like 90% of the world out there, and you're privileged to still be doing it after all of these years. But on the back of that, I do want to add, these kind of childish behaviors coming from a guy that's 52 years old kind of is indicative of something more than just behavioral issues, right? There's something that kind of screams substance abuse in this situation. Now, I don't have that knowledge 100%. But in that statement that the band dropped, they said, I'm thankful for my sobriety, otherwise I would have retaliated. Now, I'm not sure if that's just a reflection of his own behavior. Hey, I'm glad that I'm sober because I don't want to lash out. Or if it's kind of like, I don't want to add to the toxicity that's already going on. Now, I don't know for sure. I'm just speculating that all of this kind of stuff is stemming from something a little bit more serious. There might be like addiction at play here. But at the end of the day, every person is responsible for their own behaviors and just running around, throwing around tables, punching people in the face. That's just silly, unwarranted stuff. You gotta go. And I think maybe cutting that slot that CKY was gonna fill out completely might not be the way to do it. You gotta fill that space with somebody. Get some young blood on this bill right now. All in all though, I think Alien Ant Farm handled this well and they had all the right to kick this guy and this band off the tour completely. So even though it does jeopardize a lot of people's livelihood and stuff, they have all the right to do it and I support it 100%. Okay, so that's the latest news and drama, and my take is that it's really silly and kind of stupid and unnecessary. Munchie the Straight Edge Nutcracker back here actually endorses that kind of behavior and wishes that that guy flipped over more tables. If there's a table and it's not bolted down, it's just asking for a flipping. So thank you so much for watching today's video, really appreciate it. If you liked it, remember to hit the like button, press subscribe, and until my next upload, watch another upload. Okay, take care and have a good one. Oh, and before you leave, by the way, those other two channels that I'm talking about, I am very serious about them, okay? I have a long-term plan to get four channels up and running, and these other two channels are already doing better than I could have even imagined, but they'd be doing even better if you were there. So remember, it's the art of slop and filthy Frampton. Go over there right now. There are new videos on both channels. Stuff I uploaded within the last 24 hours. Three new videos over there on those channels. Go there and watch them now. I'm very serious. Okay, thank you. This time I made it. Bye for now.